Hey everyone, this is Dr. Qualley and Dr. Tepper with the University of Kansas Medical Center. We're gonna be sharing a few brief videos with you all with tips for managing life at home for you and your family during the COVID-19 outbreak. Today's video includes tips on using visual strategies at home. We know that visuals can help improve a child's understanding and cooperation with an activity. Visuals provide structure and predictability, clarify routines, and assist with unexpected changes in transitions or regular routine. Visuals can also be helpful to teach new skills, to improve attention to task, and to help make abstract concepts like time more concrete. You can also build in reinforcement opportunities like earning a reward. The neat thing about visuals is that they can be made with pictures or symbols or text and writing or a combination of all of those things. And they really don't have to be fancy. You can open up a Word document and type up a few words and add a few pictures from Google, or you could even have your child write or draw their own visual. One type of visual, of visual support is a visual schedule. Visual schedules provide children with an outline of what their day is going to look like by including each activity with a picture. The use of a visual schedule increases the predictability of the day and allows children to feel a sense of control. Social stories are another type of visual. Social stories are used to describe social situations that children are having difficulty with. We've shared a few different social stories on our Facebook page related to COVID-19, and on your screen is another example of a social story. A social story can be read to a child whenever they're feeling anxious about a situation, asking a lot of questions about something, or if they're unclear about what might happen next. You can also create social stories related to specific daily activities that might be difficult for your child, such as attending online school. Another type of visual support is a first then. First then charts are used to provide some reinforcement for completing non-preferred tasks. They are used by having a child complete the non-preferred task first and then gaining access to a more preferred activity. For example, if you complete this worksheet, then you can have five minutes of tablet time. Our last visual that we wanted to share with you all is called red light, green light. Red light, green light is a good way to signal to your child when they are or are not allowed to do something. For example, this can be helpful when your child is repeatedly asking for something or about something. Start by getting one red and one green piece of paper. Put the paper in an easily accessible location in your house, like on the refrigerator. When it is appropriate for your child to do or ask something, the sign should be green. If it is an inappropriate time for your child to do or ask something, the sign should be red. If your child engages in the behavior when the sign is red, implement a small consequence. For example, if the sign is red, for each time your child asks when they can play on the tablet next, they lose two minutes of tablet time. So if they ask five times, they would lose 10 minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Be on the lookout for our next videos.